a valid model within just about any networking vendor out there is to add up a second device for reasons of backing up your network or making it a more reliable one. Within FortiGate, it is known as HA, High Availability. Let's see how we configure our FortiGate to be a member in a cluster. To understand how HA works, we will look at the following topology. So we have an internal network which is connected to a switch and that switch is connected to our primary 48 which takes us out to the internet. To create a cluster, to create an HA, we need to add up another 48. That 48 has to be the same model, has to have the same licenses. You can look at the Fortinet documentations and see the requirements. The two 40 gates are connected through a link which is called a heart bit. That heart bit link is responsible for the synchronization of the two 40 gate. It is responsible to elect the primary 40 gate. It has lots of tasks uh, but we will not look at the uh, specifics of it. You need to understand that you need to have at least one heartbeat link. The second thing is the monitor ports. You have to connect your secondary 48 to a port on the main switch. Now when you create a cluster, you actually create a group. You have to name that cluster and you have to assign it a mode either active active that is the two 40 gates will be responsible for the different sessions on your network or active passive in that case only the primary 40 gate takes care of the different sessions and the second one is actually passive it is listening to the uh, primary and whenever there is a device or a link failover it takes its place. Now let's look at our 40 gate and see how do we configure our 40 gate to become a primary 40 gate. All right, so let's log in. Now you can configure your HA using system HA. You can choose either modes active active or active passive. You can also see using the get system status that currently your 40 gate is, a, is in a standalone mode. That is, it is not participating in any cluster. When you look at the uh, configuration itself, you can see that you have to assign a shared secret, a password between the two 40 gate. Now let's move over to the command line and let's configure our primary 40 gate using the CLI. We will use the config system HA. Now the first thing that you will do is to assign a group ID. Let's just create a group ID. Let's create a group name. Let's name it cluster one. And now let's set the priority. Now the higher number that is from 0 to 255, the more chances that your 40 gate will be chosen to be the primary 40 gate. So let's make our 40 gate, uh, let's configure it with the number 150. And on the secondary 40 gate, just um, um, choose a lower number. The other thing to do is to set the mode, either standalone, active, active, or active passive. Passive. So let's choose the active passive. Now let's choose the monitored ports, which are the ports that are connected to the uh, switch. The other thing to choose is the password, the password between the two 48. So let's use uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the last thing to do is to configure the heartbeat ports. 
These ports are keeping the cluster communicating with each other. It actually sends um, packets between the two, keeping synchronization um, um, the same between the two 40 gates. They are also responsible for the election of the primary 40 gate. Now, you will see using the show full config that you have many more configuration options that you can add up to your system HA, such as the interval in the heartbeat interfaces and so on. But this is the basic configuration that will um, set you up and create your 48, a primary one.